Hi, Neil here from the Dirt Floor Workshop. Today's video is about thread cutting. This is third part of thread cutting. But before I do that, I probably need to feed the troops. So, there you go little fella, try that. Try that little fella. How's that? Not bad, eh? Here, try that bit. Anyway, can't waste all day. I better get a move on. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to set up all the speeds and feeds, and so we're just about ready to cut. Of course, you need to put a piece of steel in, and this has been machined down to the size. What I'm going to do today is a fine thread 7-8 national fine. If we look at the chart, national fine 7-8, 14 threads per inch. So, I've already done that. I read the chart down here. LAS8, AS inches 8. And we're ready to go. Now, in the last video, what, I, what, what you saw me do was the first thing I did was put the head speed down to a slow speed. The reason you do that is because if you have a high speed and you engage the, the lead screw, a dangerous situation can occur. What can happen is if you inadvertently start cut, engage the... You'll notice that this is... This is travelling at a very dangerous speed. So always, always make sure that your head speed is, is down to a low head speed when you're cutting threads. Now I've got this tool here. Uh, last time I suggested that you, uh, you get a tool with a... Um, with a tungsten, tungsten insert if you want to cut threads, which is the easiest way to do it. But today, I'm going to use another type of tool, which is one where you just grind that and resharpen it, which is a pretty handy tool I've found. Now, I always use a bit of cutting, a bit of uh, thread cutting grease when I'm doing this sort of a job. And What I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed, start this moving along and I'm going to bring it in until I just get a, a touch of
now. I'm gonna put a piece, I'm gonna put a chalk mark here. Like that. And that's gonna be my stopping point. It's a lot easier if you cut a, a groove there. You can, uh, you don't have to worry about that, but I'm gonna try and stop it at that point every time. do you need? How much infeed can you take at a time? Well, when you're out, you can take a fair bit, but the further you get in, the more it's cutting, so you've got to reduce your cut down. try about maybe 10,000, see how we go with that. Ten is not a bad sort of a cut, but uh, when I get in a bit further I'll reduce that down. That's cutting fairly smoothly at 10,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see that chalk mark coming up. And try and stop it at the same point. We'll do another 10 foul cut.
another 10 thou cut Maybe I'll do about seven this time. telling you there's the trial and error method and you get a nut and it's just starting to sort of sit there so we've still got a fair way to go I think that's about another seven thou. Maybe it's a bit more. see what happens now. Ah, just starting to... This is a... I'll try a five thou cut.
a bit tight. I'm getting pretty close. Try, I'll try two and a half now, see what that does. There you have it. Now that was the trial and error method sort of works okay for most people. Next time, next video, I'll show you how to measure the thread with the three wire method and the micrometer method. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.